Hello, my name is Jan. In this, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create collectibles by using Unity 3D and how to basically create a score where every time you collect the collectible, the score will be added. Okay, to get started, we need to basically go to Hierarchy, select Create, select 3D, select Cylinder. With the cylinder selected, we are going to rename it to Read Coin. So, Instead of cylinder, we have a coin now. now. The next thing we need to do is raise this up a bit so we can actually see it. And the next thing we need to do is change the Y value here for the scale to 0 0.1. We are also going to rotate this by 90 degrees. Let's say, oops, the X value 90 degrees and we are going to go to the assets right click select create new select folder and name this folder material materials double click on the materials folder right click select create and this time we're going to select material name this material gold with the gold material selected we are going to select here on the inspectors panel. We are going to click here once and basically select the gold color. Once you're happy with this, exit this. And then we are going to click and drag the material we just created into our coin. And now our coin is changed color to gold. Let's bring the coin a little bit further down. Okay, the next, let's get it closer as well to Ethan. Okay, the next thing we need to do is go to the assets, right click, select create folder, and this time we're going to name this folder as scripts. Double click on the scripts folder, right click, select create, select C sharp script, and then name this script collect coin coins. We are going to create another script now, so right click again, select create, select script, player collect coins. It doesn't really matter what you're going to name this, okay, uh, as long as you're going to call uh, the name appropriately throughout the script. The next thing we need to do is rename our main character. So select your main character, go to the inspectors panel and change the name to player. So we have our player, we have our coin, we have the two scripts. Now select the collect coin script and double click. This will open in Visual Studio or your installed um, text editor. The next thing we need to do is press the Enter key a few times, just before the last curly bracket. And what we're going to do here, we're going to create a new function. So we're going to say private void on trigger on trigger enter collider other. Now here we're going to create an if statement, and we're going to say if other dot name equals equals and then in double quotes we're going to say player so basically if the player collides with the, any of these objects with this with the object that we're going to attach the um, C sharp script to then what we want to happen press the enter key open it close a curly bracket there what we want to happen we want to destroy the component so game object and then we're going to say semicolon to our statement so every time the player collides with the object the object will be destroyed okay let's save this let's minimize this and let's apply this script now to our coin by clicking and dragging so by clicking and dragging the script just dump it to the coin now you will know that the coin has the script by selecting the script, the coin, 
and you will be able to see the collect coin script here. The next thing we need to do is make sure that the is triggered option is selected. Press play to test what you just done. And as you can see, the coin is destroyed. The next thing we need to do is duplicate this coin a few times. So right click and duplicate, right click and duplicate. So we have basically multiple instances of this coin. Now, as we duplicate the coin, each coin also contains the same script here. Okay, the next thing we need to do now is create a score up here and basically attach the score to the character, to the player. So double click on the player collecting uh, coins. And the first thing we need to do after the model behavior, and after the first color bracket basically, we need to create a variable. So we're going to say public integer points equals zero, semicolon to my statement. So basically I'm creating a public variable, which is integer, so it's only numbers, and I'm calling this public variable points. And to start with, it's set the value is set to zero. Okay, after the void update function, and before the last curly bracket, we are going to create our own function. And we're gonna say private void on GUI open close parenthesis and press the enter key and it should give you uh, the two curly brackets open and closing curly bracket now what we're going to do here we are going to create a label so we're going to say GUI dot label and then we're going to open parenthesis and we're going to say new rectangle and then we're going to open another parenthesis and then we're going to put the dimensions so i'm going to say 20 comma 20 comma 200 comma 40 and then after the parenthesis i'm going to put comma and then i'm going to include double quotes i'm going to say score colon space and then i will say plus the points and after the parenthesis I'm going to put semicolon to my statement so basically this line of code it will generate a text uh, a label this label will have these dimensions and this label will have this basically label static content here it says score with space and then afterwards, we're going to say plus the dynamic information, which is basically the variable. To start with, like I said before, is set to zero. The next thing we need to do is, let's save this. Let's go to the collect coins script. And after, if when the if statement is true, we would like to add the one value, one point, to every time uh, Ethan selects a coin. So to do this, what we're, gonna, what we're gonna need to do is type all the dot get component, and then we what we're gonna do here within less than and greater than, we want to point to the script. So we're gonna say player collect coins. As you can see, you can double click here as well. Now, if you name this script differently, obviously you have to put the correct the appropriate name here. And then we're going to say open and close parenthesis dot points. And then we're going to say plus plus semicolon to end our statement. So basically, every time it collects, the player collides with the object, the object will be deleted and the score will be added. Uh, one point will be added into our score. Let's save this. Let's minimize this. Before we test this project, we need to make sure that they, this script is attached to the player. So click and drag this script to the player. So let's click on the player. Let's scroll down and we will be able to see the script player collect coins. Now we can click play. We'll be able to see the score here 
and as we actually move forward, score 1, score 2, and score 3. And this is how you add coins or collectibles, and this is how basically you're creating a score which will be able to actually increase every time the player selects a collectible. Hope you've learned something new today. Thank you very much for watching.